What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're gonna talk about chocolate mud and bug cereal. Now, it should be fairly obvious why I chose to do this cereal this weekend, but in case you're living under a rock, where there are plenty of bugs, I might add, you should know that this weekend was the release of the new Lion King movie. So this new Lion King movie is a live action remake of the original classic film. A film that still holds up to this day and definitely does not deserve or need a remake. Yes, I'm gonna complain for a second, so bear with me. It's not that I'm against the idea of reboots or remakes in general, though for the most part, I kinda am. But for me, I just don't think you should remake a film unless you're gonna tell the story in a unique or a different way than the original. And no, CGI doesn't count as a unique or different way. I'm talking about the actual story. For example, Maleficent was a worthy remake of the classic Sleeping Beauty tale because it was told from a different perspective. And I'd be all for Disney continuing that trend with their classic films. Like, remake Aladdin, but tell it from Jasmine's point of view. Or just a prequel to Aladdin where the genie is the protagonist and we discover how he ended up in the Cave of Wonders. Or do this Lion King remake, but tell it from the perspective of Nala, or Rafiki, or Scar. Although it would probably be hard to make Scar a sympathetic character. But I don't know, do the live action Little Mermaid remake and tell it from Ursula's perspective. Or whatever, something better, but just be creative. Don't give me the same movie again with just CGI and adding a new song or two. For a company that supposedly cares about bringing magic and wonder to the world, these remakes don't seem like that at all. They seem like cynical cash grabs meant at exploiting a whole new generation of kids by recycling their intellectual property. Alas, this isn't movie time, it's cereal time. So let's get back to the cereal. So this chocolate mud and bug cereal was released by Kellogg's back in 2002. And you might be wondering why they released a Lion King themed cereal eight years after the original movie came out. My guess is since they re-released Lion King in 2002 in IMAX theaters, they probably thought this is as good a time as any to reacquaint a whole new generation of kids with these Lion King characters. Here's a commercial for this chocolate mud and bug cereal. So, you eat bugs? Uh, yeah. Not zebra? No. Water buffalo? No. What hog? No. Uh, Meerkat? No. I like you, kid. A toast. Slimy yet satisfying. You'll find marshmallow bugs crawling through crunchy chocolate flavored cereal in new Kellogg's Chocolate Mud and Bugs, part of this complete breakfast. Go one swell kid. Nothing bugs you. <laughs> With Kellogg's Disney cereals, anything can happen. So as you can see from that ad in this box here, this stuff was just a chocolate flavored cereal with bug shaped marshmallows. A Cocoa Puffs with marshmallows, if you will, or a lamer version of Count Chocula, the corn version, not the original oat version. But this cereal lasted on shelves for about three or four years, actually. They had a variety of different boxes for it. This here was the first box of the cereal that came out in 2002. You can see that it featured Simba on the front, something that would change moving forward. But on this original box, they explained on the side that the cereal would turn your milk into muddy chocolate milk and leave colorful bugs floating in the milk. And then on the back of this box, they feature your favorite meerkat feeding bugs to your favorite warthog while asking you to count all the bugs on the back of the box. And at the bottom, they ask you to unscramble this nest of letters to spell out Timon's no worries, problem-free philosophy, which we all know is Akuna Matata. Now, after this box, they had a few others. I'm not 100% sure of the order, but I think it went something like this. This was the generic box moving forward. They lost Simba from the front of it. You can see this is the box that's featured in that earlier commercial. They also had a few prizes they gave away with this cereal. There was a box that featured a free read-along DVD inside. And then on the back of this box, they showed the DVDs you could get and had a mix and match game where you had to put the correct caption with the scene from the movie. Then there was also a box that had a free watch you could mail away for. They offered this for a few Disney cereals in 2003, but the ad for it prominently featured Timon and Pumbaa. Here, check it out. Watch and find out. Okay, I'm watching. Oh. Now for a limited time, get a free digital watch when you mail in four proofs of purchase from specially marked boxes of Kellogg's Disney cereal. Part of this complete breakfast. Watch out below. Very funny. And then finally, around 2004, they released this unopened box that I have here. This one featured all new bug-shaped marshmallows you can see there on the corner. That's a tried and true gimmick that cereal brands use to spice things up usually toward the end of a limited cereal's run. And really, if you look closer, you can see that they aren't actually new bug shapes per se, just new dual colored marbits. Their shapes are all the same as the original cereal, they just added another color to each one. Now on the back of this box, they have a game called It's Munch Time. You're supposed to cut out the mouth section here of Pumbaa and then cut out the bugs that are on the top and bottom of this box and flick those bugs into his mouth. Here you can see the bugs on the top and the bottom of this box. I wonder how many kids actually did that with their box. I guess most kids aren't collectors like me, so they had no problem destroying this box. And one more thing here, on the side of the box, they promote the Lion King fruit snacks that were out around the same time. I think they also had a Mud and Bugs Pop-Tart as well, 
that feature little bugs sprinkled on the chocolate frosting coating. But let's open this box and take a look. So here's what chocolate mud and bug cereal looked like. You can see the round chocolate pieces that resemble Cocoa Puffs. The marshmallows are a little shriveled and harder to make out, but they actually held up pretty well for all these years. Let's get a closer look at them. You can see here's an orange and purple bug. They have a yellow and white one here, a green and red bug, and a blue and pink or a blue and red bug here. Now, much to your disappointment, I'm not gonna eat this 15 year old cereal because it would probably taste worse than eating actual mud and bugs. So you're just gonna have to use your imagination of what it was like to eat the delicious cereal back in the day. Oh, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but they have another fun little activity inside the box here. It's called Bug Tracks, and you just help Pumbaa find his way through these four mazes. And since we're talking about mud and bug cereal, let me just remind you there was another mud and bug cereal that came out a few years ago from a New Zealand cereal company. It was called Banana Bugs and Mud and it consisted of Cocoa Krispies and little puff rice pieces that resembled maggots. That cereal was pretty darn good and also really creative with the bug looking pieces. It was also one of my first cereal time videos so if you go back and watch it Please be kind, I was just figuring out this whole making videos thing. All right, well, that's gonna do it for Mud and Bug Cereal. I thought maybe we'd see another Lion King cereal with the release of the new movie, but I guess Kellogg's didn't think it was worth the effort, which is really no surprise considering their track record. But go see the movie if it looks good to you. If not, go watch the original 1994 animated classic because it's still good and it still holds up. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. All right, I'll just try one of these bugs.